from Canoga Park Bowl. We're here for the title match of the SoCal Baker Shootout. That is not 2 o'clock p.m. That is nearly 2 o'clock a.m. And that is Alexis Atkin leading off for the team that is calling themselves the real team swag. Little jive there. Kyle, anywhere else playing against the team looking for the four peats. The familiar face or the familiar back of Darcy Staggs leading off for Da Duel Textiles. The only winner this tournament has ever seen. And Darcy starts off with the strike. So the two ladies have been elected to be the lead off for this game at least. It's a two out of three Baker match. They'll stay on the same lane for the entire game then flip flop to the other lane. Bowl game three if necessary. Many time champ Matt Jones, the most unique delivery any of us have ever seen or probably will see. And it continues to be effective even this late at night and even on some pretty darn burnt lanes. There was an issue with the original oil machine, so we had to bowl on the leftovers from this afternoon's doubles tournament. Mark Myers up. I promise you he's in there somewhere. There's his head going through the other two bowlers. Another two-hander and another two-hander gets 10 and fit. Pretty impressive stuff out of the two enders that they're able to generate enough ball speed to get the ball down the lane and or keep the ball airborne long enough to not hook. Wesley Lowe, just a freak of nature, at uh, 14 years old. He seems to be the only one playing a somewhat conventional line, even though that is plastic, right? No, it's not. Good heavens. Speaking, uh, Riley not using a lot of loft here. Riley, the defending all-conference scratch bowler of the year. So these are two very stacked teams here as we'll try and list off all these bowlers' accomplishments. Get that ball to fade back into the pocket. If you're not staying with your righty, you have to lay the ball down left to 25 or else the ball's going to hook at your feet. And some of these bowlers significantly further left than 25. Lefties have a little bit more head oil left, but even them are around 15-20. Talk about speed, here we go. Yet another two-hander, James Hawkins. Look how fast he can throw this ball and how high. And how effective. As he flushes 10 in the pit, that's three in a row for their team. They are the number uh, one seeds. They haven't lost a match. Oh, they did lose one game, but obviously they haven't lost a match. They're still bowling. Ken McElvaney, a couple times JBT winner. He's done most of his damage in Baker. He likes that shot, and he trips out the six. My goodness. We're bowling on lanes that were last oiled about 11.30 this afternoon, and they're still finding a way to get the ball to the 1-2 and or 1-3. Very impressive stuff. 26-time champion Cameron Smith won the double with James oh, about five or six hours ago. How many titles are between the two of them on the approach? We will have to, uh, on the approach is seven is uh, is eighty. Eighty exactly. And Cam has had that fade look going ever since the step ladder started in doubles, and he hasn't let go of it yet. I don't think Kyle's far enough left. Fifth, not probably not. Fifty-four time champion Kyle King, our all-time leader in just about every category. Have look at this for some lofts. That's sick. Sick. That's dirty, kids. That is some dirty dad dueling going on over there with that much loft. By the way, have you stopped by Dad Duel Textiles lately? They have a wide array of fabrics to suit your growing needs. Make sure to stop by. I have no idea where they're located, but somewhere around LA. Here's Lexi again. There you go. Now Alexis does not have a lot of ball speed. She never does, so her ball's rolling out at about 40 feet, but the idea is to touch the head pin and pray, and that was an effective Brooklyn. Works fine for her, and that makes five in a row for the team with a chance for Darcy. Thank you for the editorial to keep her team right in it. That's right there. Oh, you see what happens? The same sort of little rollout thing for Darcy. The ball's actually probably more effective on the Brooklyn side for the girls as that ball just rolls out and doesn't get the five or seven out, but makeable split. Darcy has done plenty of damage for her team over the years in the Baker tournament. I promise you Mark's there somewhere. There he is. Woo! There goes the ball. There goes ten more pins. Wow. Extremely impressive to say the least. So we said that there were 80 titles on the lane when Cameron and Kyle were up. We have to add up the total titles per team in total here. So 26. Mark, you got seven wins. Riley's 12. Uh, Lexi, Lexi zero and James just won 11. Yeah, I won 
26. 26, yeah. Well, that's close. Nope, didn't quite climb up the hill. Uh, so then we got Kyle, 54, Darcy with uh, these three. That's the only one she ever won. Wesley, six. Wesley, six. Ken, I think these three were the only ones he ever won. And uh, Matt, I don't remember. It's eight or nine, I think. Let's give him nine. Just to kind of benefit. Here's Dempsey. No, this time doesn't get the trip, but happy to leave only the nine pin. That ends the string at six, so they're comfortably in the lead. Let's see what Jones can do about it, though. You betcha. Wow. Matt's got a lot of haters worldwide. They see him, they don't understand just what he does. And actually, nobody understands what he does. But what we do know, what we do know is how incredibly effective it is. Anybody watches this video wants to shoe up, come on down to Canoga Park Bowl anytime. You can find him. He will be more than happy to name the amount. No problem with the nine pin for Dempsey. Don't let the small stature of Wesley face the, uh, you know, uh, confuse you either. This guy knows what he's doing. He hates it. <laughs> and again, Wesley per Perfectionist can't stand the shot, which threads the rack and gets the layout to carry. So, 33-45. By our count, 56 titles for the team in black and 57, 60, 75 titles for the other team. So we think that there's 131 titles on the lanes in this match. Oh. Now a little Brooklyn for Hawkins. Huge shot, huge shot for Davil here in McIlvain. They can max out for 243, the other team going at a 238 pace, so it's still anybody's match if Ken can get this strike. Close. You betcha. Wow, my goodness. Uh, first hit shoot. Do not doubt the duster mathematics. He needs one in ten. How can you be comfortable launching the sixth arrow? This ball is going to land beyond the arrows with roughly the sixth arrow. It has to have the hit. Oh, come on, Matt. That's in. Sit. <laughs> Matt, I know you want it, but anywhere else, can't see the shots. We love your guys' backs. It's the worst thing about filming these Baker tournaments is that they're, of course, cheering for their teammates, so we see a whole lot of ten very talented backs. Yeah, we really do. We need a, we need the crane camera for this one. Camera, uh, camera, and this spares that. This is the hit for the game. Again, it's one of two. He does feel pressure, but he's so capable of handling the pressure. Everybody feels pressure. It's what you do with it. My goodness gracious. <laughs> what can you say? Well, two excellent games by these teams here. 236 should be enough to win going away on this pattern, but it's not. This is like beyond that. Right, right. And here's another stat. Here's another stat for you. That is in this tournament the 14th consecutive match play win for Dadul. They obviously won their title game in 2009, they swept in 2010, they swept in 2011. Oh, I'm sorry, and they're sweeping in 2011, so that's their 14th win in a row without a loss. If they can make it 15, they'll win the title. I know you want to watch part two of this. Make sure you check it out on YouTube.